As many of you have already heard, the universe is vast, infinite, and unimaginably old. So insanely large that we would probably go crazy if we thought about it more carefully. That's why most of us don't concern ourselves with things outside our immediate environment, because our brains are simply not equipped to cope with these sheer dimensions. So much simply exceeds our imagination and the ability to process these incredible things. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Judgment Day after Higgs Boson. Depending on where in the world you are, there are many doomsday scenarios in circulation. Many cultures believe that the end of the world will be dramatic. However, the most dangerous and at the same time most plausible doomsday scenarios come from the scientists themselves, and the Day of Judgment after Higgs Boson is one of them. Many of them, including Stephen Hawking, believe that it could happen soon or is already happening. According to this theory, everything begins with a filled bubble, or so-called Higgs energy, that must remain consistent for the universe to remain in its present state. If the bubble spreads, it would fundamentally reprogram atoms, and in some cases, even cause them to disintegrate. The beginning of the end of the universe. Galactic Cannibalism Galactic cannibalism is the swallowing of galaxies by other galaxies. Just the thought that there are some larger galaxies out there that are swallowing other smaller ones and the possibility that something like this could happen to us is quite frightening. But there's no reason to worry because it will not happen in the near future. However, many other galaxies out there could be devoured by a larger one right now. This has even happened in our immediate vicinity. Andromeda, the galaxy most familiar to the layman and located in our immediate vicinity, actually devoured a sister galaxy of the Milky Way about 2 billion years ago. It is assumed that this will also be the case with the Milky Way in about 4.5 billion years. But by then, humans will hopefully have developed travel between galaxies, or will have long since become extinct. Ejected Black Holes If we knew about all the tremendous things going on in the universe, we probably wouldn't have a moment's peace. However, some of these things are so massive that they make us realize how insignificant man and the Earth actually are. With supermassive black holes that have been ejected from our galaxy, scientists calculated that it would have taken the same amount of energy as 100 million supernovae to eject a black hole into space. If we were to fall into the clutches of this hole, it would definitely be the end of the Earth and of humanity as we know it. Renegade Black Holes of all the things that can potentially go rogue, a black hole seems to be the worst. Black holes are largely unexplored phenomena in space, with unimaginably high gravitational fields so powerful that even light cannot escape them. They devour everything in their gravitational field, so it's a good idea to stay away from them. When a hole starts to move, we all have a big problem. Like everything else in the universe, Black holes can find their own unpredictable trajectories and head straight for us. In some cases, they begin to move at immense speeds and devour everything in their path. This is not even a phenomenon from distant galaxies. A black hole the size of Jupiter is currently racing through the Milky Way as we know it. Only a few years ago, it was assumed that the hole does not move, although according to recent research, it in fact does. Zombie Stars Whatever lives must die sometime. This applies to everything in the universe. The death of the stars, as you may remember from science lessons, is one of the most interesting phenomena in the known universe. Every star we see in the sky is already dead, only the light has not yet reached us. In rare cases, stars can die and come back to life as if nothing had happened. This phenomenon is something that puzzles both us and scientists. They have recently discovered zombie stars that should have died in their supernova stages 
but somehow survived and continue to exist. The Galaxies Without Dark Matter Today, we know that the visible universe is only a tiny fraction of the whole. An overwhelming majority of it consists of something called dark matter. We could have thought of a more scientific name, but since we know absolutely nothing about it, dark matter is the most accurate description. We know that it penetrates everything, and that it is also present in huge parts of the universe, but we have not yet been able to find out more about it. Even more mysterious, however, is the galaxy without any dark matter. It has been speculated before that whatever dark matter is, the universe needs it to hold things together. The galaxy without any dark matter proves that this is not necessary to keep galaxies together, which makes its existence even more mysterious. The Triple Galaxy Collision No matter how boring our life is, we can comfort ourselves with the fact that there is always something interesting going on in the universe. From massive plays of light to dying stars, the universe is certainly not a boring place. Also, the rare collision of three galaxies is such a spectacle, as we could observe it for the first time in 2007. Although two galaxies collide more often than we think, it's very rare that three of them collide. The Mystery of the Largest Black Hole Ever Found There are a lot of things in the universe that we do not understand. However, we must constantly revise our opinion about the universe. One example is the brightest and largest black hole found in the early universe. It's located at the center of a quasar that scientists have only recently discovered. Known as SDSS J0100 plus 2802, it is as bright as 420 trillion suns and by far the most massive quasar ever discovered. We don't know how it was formed, because it is not theoretically possible that anything of this size could have ever been formed. The Coldest Place in the Universe The universe is a rather cold place, since the heat of the stars is only enough to reach a tiny part of it. According to some scientists, the absolute coldest place in the known universe is the Boomerang Nebula, a nebula consisting of gas and dust. Inside the nebula, it is so cold, on average negative 236 degrees Celsius, that scientists have been trying for some time to understand more precisely why this is so. There is now an explanation for this. The nebula formed after one star collided with another larger star that was going through the last stages of its life, causing most of its matter to be ejected in the form of an ice-cold nebula. Foreign Matter you would not think that something with such a harmless name as foreign matter is so dangerous. It sounds like a name that scientists came up with when they couldn't explain a phenomenon and whose exact name they have yet to decide on. But when you look it up online, you realize that it is one of the trickiest questions in theoretical physics. In essence, foreign matter, which can contain many types of particles, cannot be compared to anything we know. Ordinary matter consists of atoms, with a nucleus containing protons and neutrons. These in turn consist of quarks, which are neatly arranged and give unique properties to everything around us. In strange matter, however, the quarks move freely, seemingly without boundaries or rules. This is a completely different kind of matter and could change everything if it comes into contact in a frightening way according to its own blueprint. A tiny lump of foreign matter somewhere in the universe could now be on its way here and completely change the nature of the matter around it, essentially even destroy it. Fortunately, the existence of foreign matter in the universe could be proven nowhere. So for the time being, it exists only on paper. Unfortunately, more recently, scientists have found something very similar to this alien torture. What do you think about these eerie phenomena from outer space? Are you interested in the secrets that are surely hidden in the vastness of space? Or do you not care about what's going on out there and consider space exploration to be pure humbug? Do you know of other eerie phenomena from outer space? Leave us a comment 